what's going on everybody Kayla back with reviews like a sir and it's been a hot minute since we've done a review like this how you doing how you been Merry Christmas Merry Thanksgiving or however you say that all that good junk this is one of the first reviews that we have done after Thanksgiving and before Christmas it's almost Christmas now but today we are gonna be going over the OF RF gear RTA and oh golly this is gonna be fun. Uh, dainty little thing sitting on there. I don't know if you can tell, but that is a 24 millimeter device, and I think it's barely over 24 millimeters in height itself. We'll go over the specifications when we get down below. So without further ado, let's drop it down and go over the gear RTA by OFRF. All right, we are down close and personal with the gear RTA by OFRF. Let's go ahead and bust out my knife real quick so I can point some shit out. All right, as you can see, company name on the front, OFRF. On the top side, we have a UPC and a scratch and sniff for authentication. The color is gunmetal, so they just put metal on there, as you can see. On the side, a little warning, manufactured by OFRF, made in China, label and color configuration again. And then on the side of the package is all the things it's going to come with, gear RTA, user manual, cotton, extra drip tip, clapton coils, extra tube, extra o-rings, and extra screws. And that's pretty much it. Let's go ahead and bust her open. This is how she's going to come presented. Sorry about the juice everywhere. I did use this before using it. I actually was using this glass. But for the purposes of the review, we're going to use the normal glass that comes on there. And I'm going to drop it everywhere. All right, here's your RTA. We'll go over it in just a second. Let's look at all the goodies it comes with. It comes with an extra glass. It is acrylic, so it's not going to break as easy. For the, oh, the airflow controlling popped off. Yeah, I discovered that happens while using it. It does have a little bit of track there. I'll go over that in just a minute. All right, let's go over the drip tip options, if I can get them to come out. I might have to rip the packaging open to figure it out. A little bit of pressure on the bottom there. Okay, this is a 510 drip tip. Kind of a unique thing. It bevels out and then bevels back down sharply, but 510 double O-ringed. Kind of a reduced airflow type thing going on here. Put that back in there. And then this is also a 510 drip tip, if I can get it to come out. This is the one that I prefer to use. This is a little bit wider bore, but the exact same style. This color actually matches the acrylic tank in there. Okay, putting all that back. I'm not gonna put that all the way back in there because I'm gonna use it later. Let's go over what it comes with. It comes with Nichrome 80 coils. Clapton coils. Um, I actually am using one of these and the other one was no good. But I wanted to see how the coils what it came with it. I'll tell you what I did to the other coil in a minute. Comes with two of those. Comes with two agleted cottons. We are possibly going to be using this later on. I've already used one, like I said, for the coil that was messed up. But just to give you a look real quick. There you go. That's what that looks like. Baggy of spare O-rings and spare screws. I'm thinking that's another 510 pin. Look at those screw heads for something so small that is beefy as hell. Okay, it comes with a tiny little Barbie screwdriver in case you didn't have anything else. And then in the very bottom is the manual. Right, let's go over the RTA itself. We'll put that wire bore drip tip back on here and there's your first look pretty clean from the outside it is a gunmetal mirror not mirror finish but a shiny finish let's look on top i'll actually take that drip tip out so that i can show y'all it does have that gear logo on the top not bad nothing rough on it maybe a couple little scratches but they're probably from me maybe some fingerprints and stuff like that those are for me. I have been using this for a few days now. 
510 catch cup down there. Put that back on. On the bottom, it does say gear right there. OFRF and OFRF again. That's their normal logo. This is like written out. I don't know why, but everything is nice and in there. Nothing too etched. I think it's just printed on there because there's nothing really. Maybe there's a little catch. I don't think I could scratch it off, but nice and beefy 510 pin. Gold plated from the looks of it. Comes off like so. This is your top fill right here. Nice and decent threading. It's a little fine, so it's hard to catch at first. Just back it up and then screw it down. Not really a whole lot of noise to it, so it's decent threading. Let's see if you can hear anything. Maybe a little bit. I think it's just metal rubbing against each other. Gasket in the top cap right there. If it'll focus for me. There we go. Gasket in the top cap. Nice and clean. All right. Nice, huge fill ports. I think this thing holds maybe two to three mils of juice. So the fact that they're giving you such huge fill ports is a plus in my opinion, because I've had some issues with the shorty modes and some other RTAs where they would not fill because there was not enough gappage between the fill port and the actual barrel down there. So the fact that they give you such huge fill ports and they're a decent space away, if you can see that from the actual chamber is a plus. Let's go ahead and uh, she'll probably want to unscrew while it's on a mod. I'll put that over there for later. The airflow ring does come off. I discovered that when putting it back in the thing just now, as you can see, but it does just a little pop off. Pop back on, it's held on with some O-rings, and then it will track into place, like so. It's, I can't tell if that looks like a large amount of airflow or a small amount of airflow. To me, it looked like pretty decently small, and it does adjust all the way down to a pinhole. But it stops in one way, stops in the other. And I can't, I couldn't tell if that was a large or small amount of airflow when I first started using it, but it's a decent amount. Little conical shape in the chamber right there. Like I said, sorry, it is juicy. And then your glass tank. Does say gear right here, etched fairly deeply into the barrel. And then OFRF right there. Not too much branding, which I like, but let's go ahead and look at the deck section. four huge beefy screws and I try to figure out what to do about this to see if I can make it a dual coil and the thing is is it would be possible if I did the legs in the funky way crossed them over stuff like that because but it really wasn't practical so I ended up just putting the massive single coil in there which I will show you in just a second let's look at these threads Barbie screwdriver there we go that one was tightened down pretty hardly, but there we go. That's the amount of space you're probably going to get. It has a lip, which I really like. It keeps your leads from flying out. Like if something that costs 30, 35 bucks like this, you can have something like that. And some of the uh, higher end thing, thing RTAs on the market cannot. It's kind of pathetic. Positive, negative. Wick holes, not bad. All right, so the build that I've got going on here is a five wrap, four millimeter inner diameter, and it is the coil that they gave me. Oh, let's see if I can get it to focus. Focus, Daniel son. There we go. Oh, there's a hair on it. It is one of the coils that they gave me, so it is NI-80, which I don't normally use, but I like the flavor I get off these coils. The first one was a bum coil. There was something wrong with it, and I could not get the hot spot out. It was kind of annoying, but it is what it is. It's what you get when you get pre-made coils, but this is how I like to have them. You can go over the top if you want to get that one extra wrap, but I personally like going like this and planting it in there like that. And that'll do me. It's a four millimeter coil and you get still get plenty of airflow, guys.
there's plenty of room to travel around this coil inside. So let's get the build going. RTA by OFRF. Let's bring it on the top and let's vape the shit out of it. Do you like that? Do you like the, the down close and personal? It's been a while since I've done one of those. Let me get the fix of the lighting here. It's been a while since I've done one of those. Um, and hopefully I've got like three or four, no, three more coming fairly soon. Two or three, something like that. Something like that. Down close and personal builds. It's been a while. It was fun relearning how to film all that shit but yeah the gear rta by ofrf let's fade the shit out of it see how she goes Ooh, the vapor reduction that's a single coil we're sitting at a 0.46 at 28.8 watts about 3.7 volts as far as i like to run it All right, so I wasn't exactly expecting much when I first got this thing. I have usually used the larger glass because I think this one holds about two mils of juice, as is, but I wasn't expecting much when I first got it. But when we got down there, y'all saw, the machine quality on this or something out of China is actually pretty phenomenal. Um, I didn't find any flaws with the machining, no scratches anywhere that weren't made by me. Anything I might have found was a scuff that I could rub off. Um, the airflow, as m small as it looks, you get a substantial amount of airflow with this device. It's actually quite nice. Like, I mean, y'all can hear it. That is enough airflow for a direct lung. All right, bros. The build quality is phenomenal. Um, I couldn't, like I said, I couldn't find any flaws with the build quality. Build quality is phenomenal, especially for something out of China. The overall look, it might not be everyone's cup of tea, but I love the way that this thing looks. It's just, mm, it looks sexy to me. Um, part number three, there's not a whole lot of branding on it. Like it says gear and OFRF but they're not overly obtrusive. They're not like silver on like a gunmetal color. It's it's the exact same color as the rest of the body of the, uh, the uh, RTA, which is a big plus for me. Um, it's not too much, it's not too little, looks just right. Airflow, you're gonna get plenty of. It doesn't look that way, yes I know, but you're gonna get plenty of it. Build deck on this, super easy. You saw how easy it was for me to just Quarter turn, pop those leads in, take the rod out. It was fine. Super easy to build on, super intuitive. I was having a little bit of trouble with the Barbie screwdriver that came with it, but that's most people have their own screwdrivers. This one's just not easy for me to control in there. So if you have your own screwdriver, you're gonna be fine. If you have the Barbie screwdriver, you should be fine as well. I just didn't, it, 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 that's not a big deal. It's just whatever they throw into the package. The coils cool that come with this, pretty good i think they started at about three millimeter and i buffed this one out to four millimeter oh the flavor it is phenomenal guys i'm i'm just oh and as you can see i'm no longer in the vape shop uh, i got off work today we had quite the rush today and so i wasn't able to finish filming this so that was the same day but um I'm here at the house. Now for the cons, the size. Some people aren't gonna like that their RTA that is 24 millimeters around is basically 24 millimeters tall. It's not that, that's not exact, but it's basically 24 millimeters tall and 24 millimeters around. So 
Some people aren't going to like that. It is very low profile, but it is very, very, very flavorful. There's not a whole lot of travel between the vape and your mouth. Con number two is juice capacity. Because it is smaller, the juice capacity is like two to three mils. But I've found because it's single coil, I refill this maybe two or three times a day. So your travel time may vary, but it's not that bad. To wrap it all up, this is a very, very nice RTA out of China. I think OFRF is an offshoot of Watofo. I could be wrong, but it looks like Watofo is trying to cross compete with each with themselves, but whatever. Um, very, very, very nice, well-machined RTA out of China. I could not find many flaws with this. Rating. I'm gonna give this little gem, in my own personal opinion, like this is my opinion, so don't persecute me, 9.5. It is close to perfection. I can't find many flaws with it, and the ones that I have aren't really flaws for me, but I figured they might be flaws for everybody else. So I gave them, but I don't think that they're that bad. So that has been my overall rating on the Gear RTA by OFRF. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, please subscribe down below, hit the like button, and leave me a comment about what your thoughts are on this RTA. It is officially my new favorite RTA. I hope you guys enjoyed. See you next time. Peace out, Girl Scout.